Welcome everybody back to Whiskey Words and Wisdom, episode 16. I'm Kel. We have Don and Jenna's back. Yeah, girl, what's up? Hello. Hey, guys. I'm here. What up, what up? Jenna decided that she loved us today and decided to step out the house to see us, but hey. you know. I loved y'all last week, too. I just She was didn't sick. love us. She said she was sick. My fever was like, nah, stay home. Sick of us. Never. Well, not last week. Not last week. So, yeah, last week was dope. We had our first visual. Um, that was pre- pretty, came out pretty dope. I was, thank you, Don, for just yeah, being so job. amazing as always. Appreciate it, appreciate it. <laughs> Don is tired, y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah, We've tired. been working this man. We are working this man. But, I mean, it's all for the, the greater cause. It's all for y'all. Um, yeah, so, since we haven't seen y'all last week, what happened this weekend? I feel like this was a pretty mellow weekend. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't do much. Um, yeah, oh, I was just working, bro. <laughs> really, uh, working on this shit. Um, Sunday, kicked it with the nephews and stuff. I was oh, okay, good, that's first time in like a couple weeks, right? Like a week. Yeah. Your little man. So yeah, that's about it. Jenna, were you still sick this weekend? I was, but I was working anyway. It is. Did you get the like, bid? Did I get what? The bid. No, my test all said negative, but I was not feeling good at all. It's like a fever and all the bullshit. Yeah, COVID's going crazy right yeah. now. Yeah. But no, all my tests it's are going negative. crazy right now. COVID and the flu oh, are man. like combo to the fucking. Yeah, they're, they're talking about bringing the, the mask mandate yeah, back. Yeah, bro. It's, really? That's how it's many. It's cr- yeah. The flu. This time last year, wow. there was only 48 cases of the flu. This year, there was 11. And this, that's in Long Beach. It was 48 cases last year of the flu in Long Beach. This year it's eleven hundred and seventy. Damn, I was one of those. <laughs> well, not in Long Beach. Wow. So people were fighting COVID and the flu and something called R R S V or something. Oh yeah, all at once. Oh, yeah, they They're calling it they the tri that shit. The the tridemic, the triple demic <laughs> or something. Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm like, look, bro, we be in the crib. Just all so. marketing at this way. The tridemic. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so I wasn't here last week to ask, but I want to know why y'all thought Wakanda was whatever. Because I really liked it. <laughs> oh. I, here's a, here's take... my thing. Here's my thing. I think the last Marvel movie was like Thor, and it was so cheesy. And then we just talked about She Hulk, which was also beyond ridiculous. So then to go from that, and then I, I thought Wakanda was really good. I was like, what the heck? I'm confused why the both of you said nah, pass. I literally so so I tried to give it a chance because I love Ryan Coogler, <clears throat> but when I walked out the theater, I looked uh, I looked at Don. I said, and we just <laughs> kind of just both shook our heads. Okay. And like I tried to like let it grow on me because I was like, you know what? Yeah, yeah. But then again, I said, nah, bro. There's no excuses. I don't have an excuse when I go to work. I can't have an excuse. I got to perform. <laughs> this was this was a bad. Uh, it, it, it was a, it was like a bad shooting game for somebody who shot four for nineteen from the field. Yeah, that movie just it just wasn't it. I just uh, okay. Let's start with this. What did you like about this movie? Yeah, that's a better question. So i I thought the visuals were were really nice, like all the really hella close ups. I mean, also I saw it in IMAX, so maybe I just thought it was really pretty. But also, I think I was expecting it to be really fucking cheesy, and then it wasn't. I think that they did a really great job. Just filming, like, the funeral and, like, everyone in white and the slow motion. And, like, I think, too, having, like, the silent, most of the time when they show the Marvel credits, it's, like, whatever their fucking theme song is. So but you, for this one, it was, like, silent. I thought that was really cool, like, a moment of silence. So you liked it visually? I actually, yeah, I thought, it, I liked all the close-ups. Like, it was, like, they were almost, like, shooting, like, macro. I don't think that's a thing for cinema. But it was so, like, everything, in their face, everything, I Everything you're saying is visually, which I'm not mad at. I'm talking just overall story. True. And I get that. everything. But like, I guess that's why, too, is like maybe I was expecting it to be cheesier and it wasn't. So it's like, oh, it's actually good. It's I like mean, a it's decent Black movie. Black Panther. So it, it, of course it wasn't going to be cheesy yeah, and you dealing with it and yeah. you dealing with a death. I thought that they handled that really appropriately. I didn't. <laughs> what would you have them rather because, done? Because, OK, so. Like the. The it, silent credits it, it, and it being it, just it, it, him it versus defeats, the whole okay, thing. Okay, so we're talking about we're talking about a comic book movie, right? So Black Panther T'Challa has 
all of these superhuman strengths and immunity because he took the harp shaped herb, right? Mm-hmm. So that means you're invulnerable to sickness, Facts. all kind of things. So you mean to tell me he died from a <laughs> unknown illness? It just doesn't make sense. Well, you don't think they were trying to honor like the reality, like the I actual understand real you're life? trying to honor, but you I, you got to understand like it, it, the lore comes from a comic book. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that's what we're, and you're, you can't and expect them though to like give him a like a a comic book death. It's like oh, Hulk it, killed it him by He could have died in battle. Okay, like more. Okay, like you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't have all these superpowers and certain skills and attributes, and then out of the blue, just be like, oh well, he died from sickness. Like he can't well, get you also sick. Have to give them credit that like they weren't they they wouldn't have killed him off in general. He actually died. I understand that. You know what? Before this movie, I was I was on board with the not recasting, but after seeing it, I feel like they should have recast him. I think that would. And been even really his family, cheesy. even his family said that's what he probably would have wanted. And the reason I say that is because it's 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 too many stories still to be told with this character. You got to understand, like mm. once again, this is comic book lore. Well, you don't think it was slightly recast by? Making her like she's the new I'm, black I'm, No, no, I'm, and I'm gonna get to that. So you gotta understand, you have a whole community of people that grew up and loved this character because okay. they read True. the comic book. True. So you're cheating them. True. Out of storytelling, they didn't wait their whole life to see this character on screen and to be fully realized, and you robbing them of that. And it's a slap in the face because the shit that they pulled at the end. You didn't even kill the character off. You brought his son so you can uh, continue the the name and the lineage anyway. So you should have fucking recasting him. Okay. It 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 just doesn't make sense. Well, like I mean, I, maybe that was like the gateway to recasting him for a new one. I mean, they could have went they could they could have went multiverse because we've already been introduced to the multiverse. They could have pulled up somebody from a a, a different ver- universe. I think that they probably were had a, a hard time deciding on that. Because I think that no, would have been, been that little. I mean, for the, first, been, for the it, first it movie back t- since he that died. T- that literally would have tied into everything we've been seeing. I guess maybe that's another thing. Because we have literally to respect just saw the madness of the. the <laughs> yeah, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't knock anybody from, you know. It would have been cheesy art, art, if I mean, every, everything is subjective, right? Back. Like, I'm not knocking nobody for liking it. But for me, it just wasn't good. And it's, it's crazy. Like, I even asked my mom. I'm like, yo. Did you like the movie? And she was like, "No." Dang, I thought it was good. <laughs> like at all, and it, it's it's I mean, so many other like things. Said, you could have you, you went so many different routes. You could have had Lupita take over because she's actually a trained warrior. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, you can. And then, have. and then and then you think about that, and you think about well, if Lupita takes over, then it makes sense for her son to then take. A, it's like it could have tied better. That's what I'm saying, man. You and I understand that's how it was in a comic book. When T'Challa went in a coma, and then Shuri took over the mantle. But in the movie, everything didn't feel earned. It's like, bro, you got a lab. You give the powers to the lab rat rather than somebody who's a trained spy and has combat skills. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I have to. I mean, I do obviously respect your opinion because you one even know about the comic books. I don't know shit about. You could have even gone so far as doing the multiverse and making it Michael B. Jordan being T'Challa in another in another verse and bringing him back. Because then they would have been like, "Oh, it's Killmonger," but then he could have been and said like, "No, uh, what?" I I read I read them do yeah do that that could that could have been a a a a redemption a redemption story in this universe. Everyone loves that. You know what I mean? It's it's so many things that you you could have done, man. I just I just feel like they kind of they kind of dropped the ball with this one, in my opinion. Hmm. Um, the I movie like the movie it, it just it lacked in so many areas, man. Even just that that male presence, like I just felt like even my mom said something about that. She was like, <laughs> it just felt like it was like no men in the movie. And I and I'm not yeah. I'm not and I'm not mad at we talk about this, man. The whole well. Uh, woke culture and things like that. And I, I'm not mad at it that females taking the mantle, but when it when you talking in terms of Black Panther, it, it has to be some kind of balance. Like, that's not what that's for. You know what I mean? 
and you just felt the lack of it. And that's what I I'm did. saying. You have so many strong women in Marvel. Like, you don't need to now make this one another. Like, you have so many. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have Wanda. You have uh, Black, uh, Black Widow. You have She-Hulk. You have Captain Marvel. You have Miss Marvel. You have, like, there's so many. Mm. You got, you got to think about it. I mean, it's it's actually kind of equal, in, in a sense, when it comes to, and also the women characters are always way more dope. Mm. I mean, like I said, like I think a lot of our favorite, like growing up, my favorite was Phoenix or Rogue. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's just, I don't know. I think also it just like I said, the acting wasn't strong enough. She, I don't think she was ready to be lead. Uh, uh, again, Namor's whole situation. I would have liked them diving into that more. And it, I think that that could have been a better way for the movie to go is actually just his kind of origins and get more focus on the more, the more. So then it wouldn't have been a black. <clears throat> man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's tough. It was tough, but again, it's, uh, you know, some people are going to like it. Some people are going to hate it. Yeah. I didn't hate it. I didn't like, I mean, I didn't, I didn't hate it. I just didn't love it. You get it. Like it's, it's not something I'm gonna watch again. Mm. <laughs> so. I don't think I've ever really well I mean like background noise but I don't think I've really actually sat down and watched any Marvel movie twice I might go home and wow. watch Endgame today yeah. I've literally watched uh, Infinity Wars <laughs> about many Infinity times Infinity War is great I just watched uh, Civil War the other day mm. that was so hard that fight scene was one of man that, that airplane scene is one of the greatest fight scenes ever ever yeah, I don't know. I think I've seen it, but I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, shit was hard. Oh, man. That was Sorry. just action-packed, and it was... I do want to jump on the Harry Potter, ma like, marathon, though. If you keep posting yours, I'm like, oh, I need to start. Just haven't had this. You should. It's on, uh, everything on HBO Max. Yeah, I just yeah. finished again today, so I'll probably start again next week. HBO's doing, like, they have the Grinch right now. Yo, they got, they uh, have uh, his hella dark, shit. His dark, mater his dark Material Season 3 came out. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> I love that, bro. I'm sorry, I love it. I, I couldn't, I couldn't I even get it. into the movie, The Golden Compass. Oh yeah, I love uh, it, bro. I love it. That's my shit. Yeah, I, I just can't get into it. Yeah. But I, I love like the theme of everything, like having your 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 spirit live in an animal, that's like your soul. Hard, bro. Like that's it's a that's dope concept. I love bro. the concept of it, but it just. What would your animal be? Ooh, probably like a. Tiger or a lion. I was gonna say a mythical creature at first, but yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know me. You know, you know me. You know yeah. I'm picking. I'm picking the phoenix but, immediately. But yeah, but um. What would mine be? An eel. An eel. <laughs> like a little monkey. <laughs> <laughs> a monkey and an eel. Yeah. Like, what's like, a, what's a little so monkey opposite. from Aladdin? Oh, Abu. Oh uh, yeah, Abu. I was gonna say it's a boo boo boo. Yeah, Abu. Oh. <laughs> it's a boo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> probably eel. It's annoying. I guess that's what it sounds like in my head that when they slither through. They be making. That's what an eel sounds like to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here like, what is this nigga doing, yo? <laughs> yo, dead ass. Uh, <laughs> yo, can't an eel like legit kill you? Yeah, certain kinds. Certain yeah. kinds shock the shit out of you. I feel like I'd I be like a gopher. This. I could see that. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, what, what's happening? <laughs> man, I think I'm gonna watch Screwed. I watched Spirited the other day. Did I, you? Yeah. I, I haven't watched it. You're not gonna watch you're it. You're not gonna watch it. <laughs> you don't want to watch it. It's, it's cheesy, huh? It is musical. a musical. That was the hard part. <laughs> yeah, but it's Ryan Reynolds. You know, yeah. I love Ryan Reynolds. It's it's dope to yeah, me because I love I love I love musicals, so it's dope to me. And then also like it's just it was just a good dope throwback on a uh, Scrooge. It was like yeah, it was like I like this yeah. So it's like a like a lot of music. Musical, musical for real. Okay, well, musicals though. Here, in, I, I'm do they have songs here and there, or that shit is like no, it's, it's throughout musical, musical. But it's funny. It's throughout. Oh, you seen it? Yeah. So and I don't throughout. like musicals. I like left a few, so, but it, it's it's for sure a musical. But it's funny. It's like kind of like a spoof off it. of it. You know what? I'm gonna watch again. I decided I'm gonna watch Violent Night again. I really liked it. I need to go see it because I it made me remember how much I love Die Hard. 
And also how much I loved Home Alone. Die Hard is the best Christmas movie. Facts. Nah, Harry Potter, bro. I don't consider Is that, that even considered Harry Potter a Christmas Harry, movie? Harry Potter, yes. Nah. That's just because yes. you watch it during Christmas time. Yeah. It, 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 it has... It, it has, has literally Christmas have the theme? Christmas theme. Yeah, every it has year. Christmas themes in it, but Die Hard is, is, Die Hard is a Christmas I, movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course it is. I don't know. I'm I'm sticking with The Nightmare Before Christmas. That's like my go-to. Die Hard is fire. But no, that's why I think you're going to love Violent Night. Because I thought at first, I was like, nah, this is something dumb. Like, it's... It, it's a it's a it's a great homage to like those those two, you know what I mean? Like it's like, oh yeah, so I'll, I'll probably go see it this weekend. Yeah, it's a lot of violence, <laughs> and, and it's a little yeah. corny in its in its Home Alone ways, but it's still a lot of violence. Yo, have you watched um, the Guardians of the Galaxy? Not the Christmas one yet, no. Huh? Not the the holiday one? No. There's oh, a Christmas man. one? Yeah, Christmas special. I don't want to see that. I finally watched it. I'm gonna tell you this. I haven't felt the Christmas spirit. Oh, solid. Yeah, well, I, I, I'm gonna get to it. I never felt the Christmas spirit. Like it's been a long time since mm-hmm. I felt the Christmas. I ain't gonna front, bro. I cried at the end. Word? What? Word? <laughs> I ain't gonna front. <laughs> oh, I gotta go watch it then. I'm watching it, bro. I'm watching it. Tonight. Wasn't expecting it. I'm Just watching it. Tonight. You know, it was cool seeing Kevin Bacon. You know, I love Kevin Bacon. <laughs> no, don't spoil it. Let me, and then, let me watch I it. mean, he in the fucking trailer. But I haven't watched the trailer. I'm I didn't on. even know that. Came, when when did that come out? Where's it? On, what's it on? Disney Plus. I think like a week, week or two ago. Yeah. Like is it like a full ago? movie or is it just like a little? It's like a holiday a short. special, so it's huh. like forty five minutes. That's, That's fine. Cool. I, I I'm sorry. I like the trailer, the new one. You didn't see the trailer yet? No, I watched it. I haven't seen it. It's good. I'm, I'm just over the whole Marvel hype train, bro. I think Black Panther was the the straw for me. I'm I'm just I'm over it, bro. I think I'm just excited to, for them to bring mutants in because I need to see. X-Men. Yeah, but that shit not gonna come to probably like Phase Six or some shit. What's Phase right now? Four. Well, we just we're, finished. We're four. Fish, we just finished four, which was. <sighs> this face has been very disappointing. <laughs> they very. Got, they got to bounce back or else it's On over. so many levels. Yeah, if they don't bounce back, phase six ain't even going to matter. We, to me, we got Shang-Chi, and that shit was fucking incredible. To me, that's a top five Marvel movie. And villain. Um, we got was, No Way Home. Outside of that, oh, yeah, that was like the first first movie. Yeah, no Way Home and Shang-Chi, man. That Outside of that. One division was fire. Outside of that, Doctor mm. Strange was okay. Mm. Was you good. know that shit just got uh, best movie of the year, the People Choice Awards. Doctor Strange, <laughs> yes. Wow. What about Avatar? Oh no, yo. So I've uh, I was gonna go on a little. I was gonna make a post about that. The uh, first reactions came out last night, and what's out? Nah, not yet. Um, but they weren't good. They're all great. Really? Oh. Every last single one of them. Really? I've been they like, I didn't want that movie to be remade. They saying it's one of the best spectacles they ever seen in a movie. They saying it's a fucking masterpiece. They saying it's Damn. better so than we the going first tomorrow. One. Huh? We going tomorrow? It comes out tomorrow. Nah, it comes out in next week. I think. Yeah, next week. That comes out on the tenth. Or not? That comes out this weekend. No, 13th, you're right, right. Next week. Yeah. He would know. I don't. December 15th. I, I'm not going to question Don. Yeah, so, <laughs> but, <laughs> so, but yeah, um, yeah, it got rave reviews, man, so far. Yeah, I need to find a special screening, see if I could get it. <laughs> so far, man. And I, I heard from people that normally, like, don't really care for certain movies man they giving it rave reviews so i'm excited man you you can't you can't count out james cameron man what, what were the reviews on violent night let me see what it got on typical really? typical mix a mixed bag i was mad that uh the menu didn't get a uh, more uh, on rotten tomatoes because that was 
That should have been. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be what it's gonna be, but I think it's it might get nominated. Oh for something. shit, we could have went today. To, oh no, that's Violent Night. I'm tripping. Uh, Violent Night. Oh yeah, I got seventy two. On Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's fair. Most people liked it. That's all that shit means. Yeah, it's cool. It, it's cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So my weekend was nothing. I, well, I went to the uh, my business partner's function. He had a whole setup in his house, had an ice sculpture, had a f- floor set up in his living room with the dance floor. Oh, that my, was dope, actually. I saw that. I was yeah, like, damn. It yeah, like lit up. Yeah, it was That's fire. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. What was out, the ice out. sculpture? Like, shout out to Chris for holding down a dope event. It was a... Uh, the the sculpture with the one the arms cut off and then titties and no legs. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it was nice. Ice sculpture. titties. Yes, facts. <laughs> it sucks. sucks the supple. I was gonna whatever. say, did anyone? Did somebody? Like, I don't know. Lick the ice. Nobody. I, don't know. I wasn't paying no attention. Okay. Because that next morning that I had to go. That next morning <laughs> I had to go drop a man off at the airport. No. I didn't even sleep. And then uh, Friday, and do shit like we chilled. Um, so my this was the first weekend because I've been gone so much I was like I wasn't doing shit. Mm. Oh, went to go see the Christmas lights in, in Long Beach. Um, they're officially officially up now. So if you ever get a chance, go to Naples. With Naples, yeah, my cousin was just telling me Naples it's fire. Cute. Yeah, they I have heard. like little gondola rides right there too. Yeah, you could do a gondola. We, we can do that. We should do yeah, that. I took one we of my do. exes here one time. Never again. So Not speaking, so that's a great segue, Don. <laughs> great job with the segue. Never so to, so today, again. today we're going to discuss <laughs> heartbreak, man, and the misconception of how men handle it, and then also how women really get about. Since you're here, I was glad that we got to we can get the other point of view. Hmm. Okay, but let's start off. Me and Don were having this conversation. Women don't realize how much a breakup really hurts us. Like if we, if we love you and we really are with you and, and we split up and shit don't work, that shit hurts. Like I don't even, I, and that's not a, Oh, it hurt. It, that shit. <laughs> nah, that shit feel like death. It's, it's like you're crippled. And sometimes seem like women, y'all just keep up. And, y'all get up and keep going. I mean, with, do with you think life. that women, it's like a lack of understanding or like they're just, they just really don't see it. Because a lot of men I, won't show that they're feeling that's like what, Because death. we can't. You we go can't. to the homies. Yeah we, like, yeah, we don't. Yeah, we definitely, as men, don't have like the we're space. We're not going to see that you're dying. We don't know that shit. Unless you're telling us. <sighs> but then you'll be like, oh, you're being dramatic. No, yeah. motherfucker, that hurts. Like you, bro. But I think women also, at that point, I think y'all be checked out. Like, Yeah. Uh, that's the thing with women is like at, at that point when they... When they're done, they're done. They've already, it, it's been a culmination. For them to be done, they have to, like, have gotten there. Very true. I've, I've, I've heard that a lot where, you know, say you break up on, on, in December, women are kind of already debating that shit in July. So their heartbreak is, like, still going on Damn. while you guys are together. That was a little dramatic, but I'll just to say that, like, women <laughs> start to retreat a little bit quicker yeah. and then like when the breakup actually happens they've kind of already prepared themselves versus men are just usually yeah. like oh shit like it hits you like a bus i mean how many men really like i know you said but how many men really break up with women like they love like I don't, it's... i've been in two relationships and both of them broke up with me they probably didn't love you yeah you on it's the possible. other side of the stats because yeah but Mostly. I mean, those, those, I'm not friends with them anymore out of respect for Manny and like where we are now, but I was like friendly with them. I was for sure the bitch that was like helping them process breaking up with me, like kind of silly, but, um, but no, they would could, like what? say like, oh yeah, we, I care about you. It's just whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like the, whatever it was. So I don't know. I don't what think do it think, was because they didn't love me. I don't know. Well, the first relationship, we were together really young Mm -hmm. for a long time. And then he, you know, wanted to experience, like, bachelorhood. And then that ended. But I'm cool with that ending. That was painful in the moment, but I'm cool now. But I'm going to say, I don't know. I think he really loved me. 
Yeah, that's that's different, man. It's it's rare that you find men breaking up with women. Like men will do fuck shit, and we yeah. prolong some shit too. Yeah. Like I I, I broke up with uh, one of my exes when I was I came out here for All Star Weekend uh, when I was back and living back in Sac, and I was just I think I I don't even know if I talked to you that weekend, and I stayed at uh, that's when I stayed at Sadie's and Brenda's, and then. I was just like, real, I w- the whole time I was here, all I could think about was how miserable I was in my relationship. And I was like, oh, I got to get out of this. And it wasn't, she was dope. Mm-hmm. She was cool. It's just like, it was something there for me that was like the lack of ambition I saw at the time. And it was just like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and I was just like, yo, like I come from a very ambitious like type of vibe and it just was eating at me. So and I was like, she's so dope. I cannot keep her in this when I'm not in it. You know what mm. I mean? Because I'm like, I'm not going to go out here and cheat on her. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I need to sit up here and end it. So when I got home, I said, hey, we need to talk. And that was one of the hardest things I ever had to do. It was say, hey, I can't do this anymore. We got to we gotta split, you know? I'm not. <clears throat> that was hard, man. Um, but, yeah, the, I mean, the, the heartbreak men go through, again, like, luckily I have Don because – I can call him and he knows like, and I can talk to him. I can cry. I can do whatever. But there's other homies that I just like, I can't because they're like, bro, you're oh, you know, you heartbroken again. And I'm just yeah, like, bro. Most, yeah. Like I was going to say earlier, not to cut you off, but most men, like men, we don't have a safe space to even be vulnerable with your boys and really be like, dog, I'm like going through it. It's always, oh man, you be all right, man. Go, go, fuck yeah, another yeah, bitch. Yeah, blah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Like, it's never go, like, man, go, bro. Go how you door. feeling right now? Yeah. Like for real, like how how you want to like just talk to me, let it out, like work. Let's work through it. It's none of that. It's this whole machismo shit. Yeah, and I'm the I'm the homie that's like, you hit me like that, yo, bro. Slide through. We can just chill and talk. Yeah, they they're not gonna understand that level of vulnerability if they aren't themselves. But most vulnerable. of them been through it. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's just a it's just a revolving door and a cycle of bullshit. Like mm. nobody want to be real with themselves, or they gotta uphold this image. Or Ego. Case I mean, be. I do feel like though. Would you say majority of the men usually do kind of just go on to the next one and like, hey, go just go get another bitch? That, that's a that's a mechanism. A numbing. Bro. That's a numbing mechanism. Yeah, it's a I mean, mechanism. But not to it, I sure, but that still means it exists. <clears throat> that, like there are still a lot of men out there that they're that not fucking just work. sitting hey, at home crying that themselves to sleep for thir- three weeks. I'm oh, not saying I it doesn't work. I guarantee. Trust I guarantee. You, fucking you, you, you be broken. <laughs> yeah. in some, I've been there. You, you, be, you <laughs> will go there. through crying spurts as a man. You ain't just maybe not around people in public, but in, in motherfucking behind closed doors. I don't you're... doubt that. I'm just curious if if like, you know. I think I don't think most men, and I'm I'm trying not to to speak on anyone's behalf. That's what I'm asking you. Like I, I would see more men just go out, kind of try to find a rebound, than men you know talking to their therapist or well, that's, letting that's their what emotions show. Kind of built for us is like. You know what I'm saying? You see it in films. You see it like that. You when you see in films, men be like, "Yo, bro, come slide." Yeah, like, on to the next. Like a female in films and in life, what happens if you got your heart broke by by Manny or something, and you hit up your homegirl? What's gonna happen? I mean, yeah, you do it on the couch. They right, come that's over. That's that saying to get like over this. something, <laughs> get under something new. No, I'm saying no, them women. I feel like women. No, it's, women. It's, it's like it's, it's like that Ben and Jerry's. Cry. Like yeah, Ben and Jerry's come eat, over eat with snacks, cream, movie nights. Me? When do you see niggas do that? When do you see that in films? <laughs> Unless it's like a comedy skit. Bro, that's never happening. Bro, it's yeah. never. And real shit, when I'm sad, I do eat ice cream. You go, good. they go <laughs> drag you to the club or yeah. out see, at the bar I'm or something. Pop some bottles. And, get, and the hey, whole time. Go get that over yeah, there. Yeah, go get that. And the whole time you're over here trying to talk to this, this female. And the whole time you really don't want hey, it. You, <laughs> you, yeah, you thinking about old girl. Yeah. Even Fly, if you actually looking, trying to see if she posts actually, or something. Even if you uh, actually uh, sleep with the girl, you thinking about the other girl, the whole girl. Mm. Sick too. Why are you doing it? I've, I've been there. Sick. <laughs> just sick, sick. yo. Oh, like, real for real. Like you roll over. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> don't. Man, I'm I'm different though. If you you get sad, you eat. I get sad, I don't eat. I lose so much weight when I'm sad. No, I mean I don't eat for a while, but then once I do eat, yeah, that whole I, I, I can't yeah, sleep, like, eat, can't all eat. that type of shit. Oh, yeah, that's, that's just the worst. That's for me. It's that's the sleep. Real. I don't. When I'm like that, I don't sleep. You know what no. though? Like I applaud women. <laughs> I, I applaud women for the 
like y'all can love like it's like the newest thing. You know what I mean? Like y'all yeah, never had heartbreak before. True. Yeah. Men, that shit lives. I mean, you know what I, I think it is? <laughs> and, that's, think, and that's why a lot of people mm-hmm. out here doing bullshit because right. they, they ain't dealt with it or they just it's, just, it's just in us. And that's why I always I, say, like, a man's love is different from a woman's, like. I think you, you hit it because it, 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 it hasn't been dealt with. I think when women are heartbroken, they sit in it and they try to understand it. And then when they're ready to get back out there again, they're, like, actually ready to do it. They process their shit. I they just think the sad parts. I think it's so They're, like, I, ready I, Yeah, to I think y'all have a different I, tolerance. Yeah, you guys also are natural nurturers. You guys mm-hmm. are givers of life. We're men. We're not naturally emotional beings, right? Mm-hmm. Like, that's not our makeup. So when a man actually truly fucking loves you, like, is in love with you mm-hmm. as the person, not just the body, not as the whole, Yeah, that shit will never be the... We, it, it, is, it leaves a scar because in order for us to get to that level and allow you into that space of vulnerability for us, that is a level that, you know, we don't even let... Our mama's in like that. Like, we can be hell, we can love our moms, but a lot of times we, our moms don't know what we be doing and shit yeah. like that. Like, as our partner, you know every single thing we're doing. Like, you're, you're my, my ace. Like, that's why it's hard, too, because it's like, women, you guys can break us on a whole different level. Like, you know emotional shit you'll tell, you'll tell your dude, but you'll also tell your homegirl. Men, we don't have, uh, besides sure. Don, I'm not telling, besides Don, there's probably not many I'll tell, like, my deepest, darkest shit that I'm, I go through, mm-hmm. but I'll tell my girl. Well, I mean, that, that also probably makes it harder, because, like, then there you are going through something really emotional and upsetting, and the person that you would typically go to in that is the person that caused you to be upset in the first place, which is just going to make everything even much more of a shit show. I mean, it's also, like, men love have like... <laughs> We, I love, I love my homies, but bro, I'm trying to be with my bitch, like <laughs> trying to be laid up with my girl, like you know what I'm saying, like that's my best friend, you know what I'm saying? Because you think about it, when we're younger, we always got that one female that when we're younger, that's our best friend, and that that friendship ending will always hurt more than losing one of the homies, like as far as that that type of friendship. Hmm. I think it goes hand in hand, even if it's it, it, again. There's pieces of you that you'll let her into that you won't let most people into. So when you lose, lose her, you're losing the person that you can be open with. I think with it also comes part. from the fact that we all come from women. Maybe. And, and it's like, no matter what, you're going to be a mama's boy even when you're not. Like, it's hard to, like, especially black black men. My mom has done some crazy shit, but I, that's still my mama. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, like, I've, I've, I've not talking to her for years. But every day I would cry because I'd be like, yo, bro, if, someone, if I get a call and some shit happened, like, I'm going to lose it. I even mm-hmm. sometimes have to you know, keep my cool shit on. I'm trying to tell her to keep her health together because I'm like, yo, you're literally the last parent I have. You're literally it. You know, my grandma's gone who raised me. You know what I'm saying? My other grandparents are gone. My dad's gone. You're it. You know what I'm saying? You know, I was actually thinking just thinking of heartbreak, obviously, from, like, a partner's hard. But, um thinking of like your parents dying like that is a heartbreak and a grief that i don't think anyone is prepared for no, that's just like different. that's there's no pre- there's no preparing you for i didn't even know my dad like that and i still boohoo oh uh, yeah I, I've, <laughs> I've been there with my grandmother <laughs> I, my, oh yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I still feel that shit yeah. to this day oh yeah i mean i don't you you guys we've talked about it on here yeah, before I, it's, yeah, it's yeah, shit. when it talk when it, it comes to my grandma yeah. and my like so um what i did do this week is i went and saw my cousin uh, he's a violinist, Randall Gooseby. Go check him out. He's got a, a Tiny Desk performance, which is huge. Oh, that's He's really headlined huge. at the Hollywood Bowl, and he just did uh, something at Seagerstrom. I know. I saw him, actually. I was looking at tickets over there. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, so that's my little cousin. And um, so, like, his dad is my mom's first cousin, and his dad was bringing up deer. That's what he called my grandma. And she was like, man, deer loved you. And I was like, man, I know, bro. Mm. <laughs> you don't think I know like the one person so that's that's what I think in relationships sometimes I used to search for is somebody to replace her mm. because she, she spoiled me I could do no wrong in her eyes you know what I mean but she gave me what I did not have so did not having my father around my mom not being as present or involved right my grandma was all of that in one you know so when you lose something like that that scar like 
that scar is is something that's it's a forever lasting yeah and it's gonna be as painful it never lessens you learn to live with yep. that pain yeah, yep. it doesn't get easier. Get, yeah, they always yeah. make time here. No, no bro. No. That's <laughs> you just you learn to to live with it, but it's well, it's a, yeah, it's a it. different type of grief. Yeah, it's a part. It's, it's like a, time heals the whole thing. Like obviously, if you think about like your first breakup, you're a lot. Your healing process is a lot different now than obviously when it first happened. But if you think about like a family member or a parent or a parent figure that passed away, that does not change. Yeah, that is consistent until you die. Yeah, and I feel for that because I just found out one of my other home, like you know, I've been going through a lot of death lately. My other homegirl just passed away Monday, her third time getting COVID. Oh shit! And it took her out. She's got a little boy, and I was like, Oh, that's rough. Uh, so I like with the heart shit. I've been like, Yo, I need to get my shit checked out because I can't. Like, it hurts me just to think about not being here long enough for my daughter to have me watch her grow. Death, death is a it, it, as much as it's a part of life, man. It's a scary thing because that shit is so finite. Very true. And one of the reasons why you need to watch Limitless once again. Y'all should pay me for these plugs, but it just it just <laughs> it's, it's just such a good show, man. Especially that that last episode, man. It's it talks about the other side of life, man. Like dealing with death and loss and grief and. Mm. Yeah, man, I, and getting old, like <laughs> that last episode was wild, bro. I think it's the the wild. getting old part because I, I feel like cause, you know, turned thirty this year, and I'm my parents aren't you know old old, but that's what why I've been feeling like oh I I'm not prepared to say goodbye to my fam like parents, and I'm thinking like my family right now is smaller. And I, all, most of them are over the age of 50. And I'm like, if I choose not to start a family, like, I'm going to be by myself in the next three decades. They're all, they, they're not going to be there. Well, maybe my parents, but, yeah, you know. Crazy. Like Drake said, now who the fuck wants to be 70 and alone? Man. It's no, crazy. It's crazy you say that because I think about that often, too, man. I think about, like, my family, of course, my the other generation and my family and just, like, People don't really think about, like, as you get old, they're, they're getting, getting older, old, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? And one day they're going to age out, man. That shit. I the thought talk- of that just. Ah, I was I talking to it. my aunt last night, and I still look at her like my aunt when I was younger. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, she's 70. She's she's damn near my grandma's age when my grandma passed away. I'm saying. Like, you don't I'm really like, think Yo. about that. Right. Yeah. And we were just talking and chopping it up. And we'll talk for hours. Like, I'll hit her up every once in a while. And we'll talk for two, three hours. And just about random shit. Like she'll tell me the same shit she told me before. <laughs> like same same conversations, but it still feels fresh. And it's like I appreciate her because she's the matriarch in our family now. Mm-hmm. You know, my grandma passed. She's next in line. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like it's just uh, and this, it's funny because you know <laughs> I'm glad like my family laughs because my aunts and uncles they don't get along. <laughs> it is they all talk <laughs> about each other. And I'll be like, bro, I'm sitting here like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, dang. And it's crazy because Amanda sent me a voice. She was recording. She was in the car with her grandmother and her grandmother's uh, sister. And they just argued. And one of them was like, well, I said this. And the grandma said, shut up. And I was (laughs) like, oh, yo, this is what. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to get that age where I can just be like, I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's a different type of heartbreak, man. But, I mean, essentially, like, I think (coughs) – with this younger generation, I have a, uh, one of the homies that's on Rockets Twitter. He's gone through one heartbreak, like, really, really bad. And it doesn't, now he has no hope. And, like, mm-hmm. he's like, yo, I don't want to ever feel that again. So it he doesn't allow himself to open up. He's like, nah, bro, why would I want to feel that again? Why would I even want to risk the yeah. chance of feeling that again? His way of coping. Sounds like someone I know. I feel like that's a lot of men. Actually, probably just a lot of people in <laughs> yeah. general. I mean, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like once you feel that, like for me, I've got, I'm retarded. Like, excuse me, I know that word is not, <laughs> that was not meant in that way. My, but I am, um, I am a glutton for punishment. Uh, I continue to believe in love. I will always. I mean, I'm good now, so I'm straight. Um, but it took a lot of like 
heartbreaks to get with somebody who sees me. Yeah. Like this person I'm in, like in tune with sees me. You know what I mean? And it's not, it's not, it's effortless. Like we have our issues, but it's like, it's even effortless knowing that we're going to get through those issues like, like this. We're going to beef. You know what I'm saying? Like she get on my nerves, I get on her nerves. We're going to beef. But I at mean, the same time, it's also like, we're going to be over it tomorrow. We're going to be straight. What, what's next on our list? You know what I'm saying? It, it, I think our, our, the longest argument that we had lasted maybe an hour. And then I'm just the, the slow type that I'm just like, I try to make it like her laugh and shit. And she's already irritated. And I'm just like joking. She's <laughs> like, bro, like, I really want to punch you in your face right now, bro. But and she I'm didn't. Like, this is but I'm like, I'm like, why? <laughs> and she's like, bro, are you serious? Because I'm like, I don't want to stay in that space. Like, I fuck with you. You're my, you, you're my ride or die. Like, you're, you're my hitter. That's what I call it. She's my hitter. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to stay in that space. But it took a lot of heartbreak. And, and again, that episode that we recorded talking about me being done, that shit was said from the fucking heart because my shit has been torn out, stomped on, spit on. And I've lo- like, I've literally felt like I was going crazy with heartbreak before. Like, that's just like it made me want to turn into that villain. Like, I'm like, yo, these other dudes that, that are so heartless and just yeah. treat women ever, you know, whatever the hell they want, they don't got to go through this. Maybe that's the route I should go because it seems a lot better on that side than this damn heartbreak. That's the, that's the mentality we get sometimes. It's like, I see these motherfuckers not complaining. They say, bro, get over, you good. Maybe they don't go through it. Maybe I'm going to try that, you know what I'm saying? But then that don't work out either. I mean, the silver lining, though, to heartbreak in taking the risk is that Say you go through a handful of relationships and a handful of heartbreaks to find somebody that is a really good fit for you versus, you know, marrying the first person you ever fell in love with and just, you know, all right, well, we have our issues. Maybe we could find better, but I'd rather just settle and stay cause I, to avoid the heartbreak. It's like the risk of, you know, going through heartbreak and having to deal with that shit. But again, the silver lining is like the opportunity of finding someone that you'd like really fucking match with. But do we, but the sometimes that shit makes me wonder, do I even need that shit? Because it's like the risk. Not everybody does. The risk of that. I do. Is like, I mean, I, I I do. Of course, I'm not. But I'm just like, sometimes I used to think like, is this shit even worth it? Like, do I even. You're defeated. You felt defeated. But it's like even the shit that comes along with relationships, the work. It's like, bro, if I was just by myself. I wouldn't have to deal with none of this. Yeah, but you would want... I feel like the joy of having a partner outweighs that feeling for you, personally. Oh, yeah. In the same way that <laughs> oh, I could yeah. say it does for me. Oh, Don, yeah. I don't know. I don't think that would outweigh the... I think you would prefer <laughs> your peace and solitude and being by yourself than dealing no, with... I'll go be a cat lady one day. We go, <laughs> we go ahead and go, what you doing with my cats? <laughs> hey, that's fine, as long as you're happy. Man, if that's where I, you're like, yeah, the most uh, content. Yeah. You'll have that bag of lady. <laughs> You gonna hurt your back. Maybe, man. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. That's actually such a great song. That's a great song. The story, yeah. Meaning behind it. I mean, Ding. but it's, I just, I don't know, man. Like, what? what is it that makes you not want to dive back in, bro? And let yourself fully be out there. Because you've done it. Obviously, you, mean, would, you wouldn't be this closed off if you had not gone through heartbreak. True. Like you say, man, I don't, I don't. I don't want to feel that shit again. Like, that shit destroyed me. Don disappeared for both. <laughs> this nigga left like, the town. <laughs> bro like, left, bro left. The t- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was a blessing, though. That was a blessing. Yeah, yeah, but, but bro, bro really said, I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was fucked up. But nah, man, heart, like, I've, I've dealt with my fair share of heartbreak, man. That shit. Fuck me up to the point like I ain't even want to be around. Like for real, for real. People don't talk about that shit, yeah. but I'm just like True, that's, that's on top of the other shit I was dealing with. I'm like, damn, like I don't, you know what I mean? Like so, I just felt like I was in the yeah, dumps we, for real. When we go through that type of heartbreak; it literally disrupts our whole life. Yeah, and like I said, that was just like the icing on the cake. It was other shit that was going on in life, and that was just like. Bro, that that was just like a big blow, man. But because think about this, right? I but like I said, besides Don, I'm blessed to have Don. I can't call many of my niggas and be like, "Damn, bro, work been like kicking my ass, bro." Like I can't, but I could call, talk to my you know my girl about it and be like, "Yo, like fucking this person at work, this shit or this is happening in life and this and that." Mm. 
So just imagine being dealing with that shit. And the I person you come to and talk to about that shit is no longer. And, and that would be a lot more difficult for you as a man because I have, you know, my mom, I have my grandma, I have several friends that can play that role for me. But it is weird, uh, different from a man's perspective. I got women's groups. Yeah. We got men's groups, but how often are they used? But yeah, that you're t- you're saying that like the woman in your life is the one that you go to for that, and if you don't have that, that's gonna th- th- yeah, that's gonna just add to the heartbreak. That's gonna add to the frustration. During yeah, that would be and how then the the obsession we go through in our heads, like just as a man. Oh when man, you, when I, was, you, I was just thinking about that. Oh, the obsession of like if you lose that person you're in love with, and then now they're single. True, y'all are so yo. Even just, even yo. just the idea like, of like Jamie Foxx said in his stand up, bro, about like when he was like, "You looking at my girl? Your girl ain't with you. She with me here, here in spirit." I've literally looked like I got to a point where I was so in love with somebody and we split. I would look at niggas and be like, "She fucking with that nigga." <laughs> like, he, was that it's so possessive? No, it's not even possessive. It's just no. It's a fact of like in my head, I'm like. That's but, possessive. But even that's even 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 deeper she ain't than mind that. No more. How's that possessive? Yeah, but like the, just the idea of thinking obsessive. Like, but listen, her. listen, even even deeper than that. Like you think about like it's almost like a, a dream dying. Yeah, you know I mean, because you you think about all the words, all the things that you didn't promise, all the conversations Man. you didn't had, the future you wanted to build. Dog, all that shit is dead. And that shit, and when you a man and you about the shit that you saying and about that idea, nigga, that's, that shit fucking kills you. Because it's like, dog, I had so many plans for this girl. And that shit is dead. Like, what the fuck do I do with that? I mean, in And it's not that, like, oh, I'm going to give that to somebody else. No, that was meant Yeah, for like, you. I, yeah. I would, and, and people don't think about that. It's like, dog, I had, we had real plans, like. Like I I saw a future with you, and the thought and the thought of the thought of that like it that shit hurts. You know, even I, more. I think the difference too is like the heartbreak that you experienced in that was her leaving you, right? Because there's a different heartbreak that you mentioned earlier where you left her. Yeah, I you mean, know, because then at that, that point it's a, like you were that deciding. Was more of a, yeah, that, but that was like a, a, a like damn, I gotta. Hurt, break this person's heart. You know what I'm saying? That that sucked. But actually, the heartbreak I went through, that shit's unlike. I literally was like, I need to see somebody. Like, I had, because I, my brain was starting to get to that point where I was like, I'm going fucking nuts. Like, this isn't healthy. I don't know how to stop this. And I couldn't stop thinking about how hurt I was. And it hurt physically. Yeah. Like, it, it was literally just like, I, I had to force myself to get out of bed. Like, I gave myself a week, and I said, I'm going to lay in bed all week and not do shit. So everything I know about mental health was learned after, during heartbreak. It was like, all right, I feel like Same. shit. How can I not feel Same. like this? I need to learn it, learn about it. And I, I think one of the craziest things I learned was that cortisol and dopamine cannot coexist. It's either one or the other. So when you're heartbroken and you're in bed and you're like stressed, like you feel the stress, like physically you could feel the stress of being like in pain, like sick to your stomach. You want to throw up. You, you're not going to eat food. You can't go to sleep. You can't find rest that when, you know, you're full of cortisol. cortisol. And that is the absence of dopamine. They cannot coexist. Which I think is crazy, because then you're, when you're understanding that in your body, and you're like sitting there, like, oh, I'm I'm completely f- like I feel like shit right now. You really do. That's like all you're full of. You have to like make an active I went, I choice. I went motherfucking bungee jumped when I was heartbroken. <laughs> Just to like, feel. <laughs> I, I was like, I need to feel something. I said, I need to feel out. something. I'd have a heart attack. Yeah, I locked myself in my house. The f- my first like real one. I was in the house. I didn't answer a call. My family was worried. Yeah. Like, I was just in blackout curtains. I mean, in a way, I think <laughs> that's healthy. I was, I was, I was fucked To do whatever up, you got to do to cope. Bro, that shit. Bro, to look at someone you love and then to look in your eye and be like, I don't love you anymore. Bro, that shit, nigga. Your, my soul, nigga, <laughs> sunk. 
<laughs> the depths, nigga. I'm sorry to laugh. I just like yeah, yeah no. like you, I can smile at it now, but nigga, that like shit hurt. yeah, bro, that shit hurt. Like you were my world, and you looking at me, I still feel the same about you. Like I fucking love you, and you look at me dead in my eye, like I don't love you anymore. Can you be a hundred percent honest with yourself and and ask yourself if at all it hurt your ego a little bit? I don't think I was thinking about ego. I was too in love. I, the ego wasn't we even a thought. We don't think about that. Yeah, it's not about that Because it's, 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 it's I understand the dr- heartbreak, but then, like, losing the dream and then someone yeah. looking you in the eyes and saying, I don't love you anymore. When you are sitting because there. Because that dream is a reality. It's, it's not, it's not so, rooted in ego. No, but that dream that, we built, that dream we built in our head is going to be, in our heads, a reality. That's yeah. what is going to happen. It's not like an ego. It's like, no, that's what, that is what we picture. This is what's going to happen. We're going to get through the, we're going to get through the shit. Yeah. Like when a man commits, it's like it doesn't matter what the fuck we got going on, we gonna get through it. And when they snatch that back, and we know, like I said, when a woman's done, most of the time she's fucking done. Yeah. And so that whole thought comes into you, like, whoo, this is it, bro. You have just literally lost that person that made you feel a way that nobody else can make you feel. Mm-hmm. Like it, that shit is. Again, men don't. We don't. We're not emotional beings, so we don't know how to really carry or handle that. Hmm. We don't have the outlets you guys have. We don't have the groups, the community. So it's like we sit there. Like one, I can't go bitching my niggas. Two, it's like I'm gonna hear the same thing. Three, it's like we start thinking about other shit. Now I gotta tell my family. They're gonna be like, oh, like all that shit comes in. Like, and it's like I will say, I do see for. The, the 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 men that I dated that it didn't work out with, nobody ever really was like, oh dang that sucks, like you lost a good one. But I I do see it more so from a man's side of like where the family is usually like, oh dang you lost her, that sucks. <laughs> dang you lost a good bitch. I hear that more or see that more often than oh, no, you know someone the, telling me like, oh you lost him, <laughs> that sucks. I liked her. Yeah, you never hear, oh I liked him. Like you could sometimes, but it's not as often. I feel like the disappointment is bigger when you I lose think her. Women, I think women will be like, your homegirls will be like, oh, fuck him. Uh, yeah. He, he, he didn't deserve And your anyway. family will say that too. Like, ah, it's whatever. You can find another one. But when you lose a girl, when it's like, oh, it, 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 it stings a little bit more. Yeah, my cousin, uh, my cousin, my cousin Eric, he hit, had a message from me this week. He was like, yeah. So his wife was like, my sis, she was like, yeah, tell Kel, do not fuck this up. Because she really fucks with her. Like, I put her mm. through some tests to meet people that I really like fuck with and she's flying colors and she's like nah she's she's one of them ones and i was like nigga i know i said yeah. i feel I like said, it's more common than than her hearing yeah. her from her but friends now don't fuck shit pressure, up with now that extra pressure of like don't fuck this up <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> like nigga what you do now and it's like why is it always gonna be me like what <laughs> me you know that's another thing that has to to do with heartbreak because for you you didn't really do anything she just didn't love you anymore that shit stings. <laughs> yeah, Versus most of the again, time, Jenna. most of the time, when <laughs> women leave, it's because the guy did something. It's because yeah. he cheated. It's because he wasn't doing something. He wasn't, you know, providing for her, whatever that may be, like financially, spiritually, emotionally, whatever. Usually, there's like a reason for it, but for her, she's like, sorry. I mean, I can relate to you on that one. My first broke up for no reason like i didn't do anything wrong and i can admit that my ego was hurt because i thought that i was doing everything right and i was like oh i i put all the, the work in i deserve a healthy relationship well, and i didn't have one so it was like that's gotta shitty. be tough for you guys too because how often do we as men say hey i need this from you so a lot of times you guys just go with the motions thinking you're doing the right things and we haven't told you what we need necessarily True. unless it's brought up in conversation but we won't sit up here and just outright be like yo i'm not getting this let me talk to this person about that first before I go search Just, elsewhere. Yeah, true. I feel like it's the other way around. Nah. No? Women are always... Men, men, men don't really men be saying, tell, like, what men, we need or whatever. That's, that's what women. Saying. Women no, always... No, that's, that's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. You're saying men no, don't just announce. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Women, her, all, I women said, that's gotta be hard. Like a, that's got to be hard for them because they don't know when oh, we're like... Oh, yeah, yeah. When we're like, yo... Because we'll just be like, yo, this, she ain't gonna But then at the end of the day, it's like, it's your responsibility to communicate what your needs are. I can't read your mind. No, but that's what I'm saying. True, but men don't know how to speak out their feelings. I mean, that's something y'all gotta work on. <laughs> okay. I mean, y'all, but y'all gotta also I, work on allowing us to speak and hearing us because a lot of times, yeah, you, guys, you gotta you gotta create that that space 
Because a lot us. of times if we if we try to communicate with you guys, it, it's you're gonna top over that with something that's just like, bro, what the fuck am I speaking for then? Yeah. Like, I mean, that's bro. that. that like, then then you're talking thank to you. someone. Thank you. Like, thank what you. Am I talking? <laughs> yeah. Then exactly. if, if that's the case, if if you're communicating with your lady and you're telling her what your needs are and she's not hearing you, she's that that's not someone no, that's. No, but you guys you always well. hear us, but you still want to. Not like you guys still have to get the word and to say what you want to say. You guys always, you guys most likely, if you care about us, you hear us. Yeah, but you always got to get your say in. Well, yeah, because if I'm going to hear your needs, you're going to hear mine. <laughs> if I'm going to put in the work to meet your needs, you better put in the work to meet mine. So, so it ain't about this us is a moment. mutual <laughs> relationship. We are so, reciprocating so, each so other's efforts. So in the efforts. moment, we can't just have our moment. I mean, yeah, you can it have It ain't about moment. us, bro. <laughs> you can't share the moment? No. You need the moment to be your own? Yes. You have to start the conversation with, <laughs> but, hey, but, right but, now but we're what? talking about my needs and my needs only. You guys aren't like that? <laughs> I think we just communicate our needs a little bit better or a little bit more often. So, so if you were communicating your needs and all of a sudden Annie would start talking about what he needed, would you feel like your needs would just shat on because you... No, <laughs> but if we're talking okay? about needs, I don't see the issue in me talking about mine if we're talking about yours. But, but you weren't talking about in the first place, and he's expressing because he's obviously frustrated about something. You know, I think that there's something to be looked at with that. I think, I think, I think the frustration so of you voicing again. your needs and then her voicing her own back. Maybe you feel like you're already overcompensating for her needs, and you want the the floor to yourself. Like, no, right now I'm talking about my needs because I never talk about them. You talk about your needs all the time. Or it is when every time you speak about something, <laughs> you always have something to say. I never just get my moment, my two minutes of fame. That's it. Just nothing. But like, okay, I hear you. I mean, I, I have to. That's most women. I will. I will agree. I, I, that's just. That's just. That's just where our heads are at. But the key is, like I've come across, is finding somebody who's willing to hear that part of it and start working on. Okay, he's speaking at this point. I'm gonna let him. Okay, you done? Okay, you know, yeah. <clears throat> that takes time. That takes time. It's it's one of the things we we working through right now. But she's willing to because there will be times where I'll be texting her instead, and she'll be like, "I hear you." And and then I'm thinking it's weird because I'm like, "Well, you ain't got shit to say back." So you know, my mind's all messed up now because like, yeah, normally you gotta you got something to say back now, or you don't got nothing to say back. Are you are you over it? <laughs> like it's it's a mind fuck because 99 percent of the time. We can't just have that moment. And then it's just like, why am I even speaking? This just doesn't even fucking make sense. It's not going to change shit. Bro, <laughs> it's funny you say that because I'll be having I'll be having conversations with women they, and they always hit you with the, well, how do you feel about this? And I'm like, why the fuck does it matter how I feel? Because at the end of the day, you're going to make the decision <laughs> that you're going to make. So it don't matter. I'm not about to waste my breath saying how I feel about something when you just going to floss over that no. and, and make your decision. Cause I the, swear. It's, it, it, even it, if she, her mind is set, she's still gonna, she wants to know how you feel about it. That's not going to, even if that doesn't change but it's the not decision. Avoid. But, but then a lot of she's times, not asking you how you feel about it because she's going to base her decision off of it. I'm not about to bear my soul for you, for it not to mean anything. It's not going to persuade you either well, way. And then, you, and then you know, hey, and then you know what women do when they're because y'all motherfuckers are at tea. Wait, how do you know not, she's not going to hear you out and possibly like out like you know weigh the options of how you make something, how she does something? It, it makes never, you feel? it never goes that way. Maybe that's just my experience. Yeah, but I mean, it never sways. It, it, it never again, sways my way. Don, also, when we do open ourselves up and we say something, or we say, "Hey, this is what we feel about you." Y'all tend to take that shit so personal, and you'll bring it up later. Yeah, true. We are really sensitive. Yeah, you will bring it up later like, oh, but I thought this. Like, bro, we were having a conversation about how I felt, and now you're bringing it up in another moment. I, okay, okay. That's oh, definitely, thought, like, a conversation thought, to be had. Because, it, you know, at, at, obviously you want to feel like you, if you're going to be vulnerable with someone, you have to have a, a safe space. And if a bitch is just pointing shit back at you, that's not a safe That's what y'all do. <laughs> like, that's like if I said, that's like if I said, like, yo, you smack so loud when you eat. And like, um, and that's been bothering me. So then, like, we're having a good day, and then you smack him. Like, oh, sorry, I forgot I smacked too loud. What I eat, like, bro, are we talk about this shit again. Like, <laughs> you guys, hold, like, men, we can say shit and let it go, and be done with the conversation. You guys Which have is this funny because then you get your heart broken. You can't not let that me. Go. I hold grudges. No, but I mean, I don't. I see. I don't go. I try to let shit go. Like, I may do a I, little slight, like, ha ha he he. Yeah, I have but, a problem <laughs> letting shit go. That's my yeah. 
If I told you I you need, smacked work, really loud, you would, you would throw that back later. You're just the same way. We're no, all like I would that. just be like... Exactly. Uh, yeah. It's literally equivalent yeah, to no. somebody mentioning it later. I'd be like, okay, cool. If that's a problem <laughs> for you. like, But, I mean, I think, I think more or less, like, women are way more sensitive in the nature of, like, it, it brings up insecurities and old triggers and shit like that. Agreed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's... It's crazy, but it, again, that have being able to have that open dialogue and, and conversation is necessary. But a lot of men don't feel like we can have that with women because it's like, what is the point? Do you feel like you you allow Manny to speak and you hear Manny? Yeah, I, th- I think I'm at a point though where I ask questions to even allow that space to happen, let alone him just communicating and that's hard to me. Something. Because I don't want to be asked questions when I'm not ready to talk about it, and that's fine. I think that that's I could see you relating to that also. Like if it, if you meet someone and then she's wanting you to be really vulnerable with your emotions early on, you're gonna be like, well, "Excuse me, no." <laughs> but I, I think I'd rather ask in him, and and I'll say like, "Hey, if you don't feel comfortable talking about it, we don't have to right now." But I'd rather ask and like but put do myself you really out there. Don't feel com- do you really? Is it really okay? Because that's another thing with y'all. You'll say, I mean, oh, yeah, for, a, we ain't gonna talk for a about certain it. amount of time, you know, if if we're living together and you're like, "Oh, I don't really feel comfortable with them," be like. Mm, you know, if it's like early on, you have to decide for yourself what you're comfortable with and what you're not. It also depends on what you're talking about. If we're talking about kids or something, like, hey, that's something I probably need to know. If we're talking about how you felt when your mom and dad got divorced, like, uh, I could wait to hear of that. It depends on what the topic is. So you determine what's... <laughs> for me, yeah, I determine... Yeah, yeah. I mean, if he came to me and was like, hey, I want to talk about something, I'm going to hear him I out. mean, you're not the only woman. Most women determine when we can and when we cannot keep our shit to ourselves. Well, I mean. Depending on y'all moods. If y'all really want to talk about something, you're asking us and we're not in the mood. We have to sacrifice to have that conversation. True. Otherwise, you guys are going to hold it over our head or be upset or be in your feels. <laughs> you're very petty about it. And then when you're ready to talk about it, it's like off limits. Like, oh, no. Oh, now you're ready. Yeah, I got a new rule. I, I was told that when we get into an a argument, wait longer than 30 minutes to make the joke or something, because otherwise the joke's not going to be taken as a joke. So I know that now. I think that that is standard. That. Yeah, I fuck with that. No, no, it's not. <laughs> I've been in situations where you having a serious moment, a motherfucker might say some dumb shit, and it's like. So I mean, that would piss you, you off. Serious. If you got into an argument so you with, with your coworker or something. Oh, you think I'm a joke? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> that's how she is. Uh, I mean, that's her her setting that rule, though. It, I mean, I respect that because she's at least letting you know. Yeah, she'd be wanting to swing on You know, <laughs> like, hey. Because I'll be like joking. I was you're just like, adding fuel. I was like, bro, I thought we got over. I thought we stopped talking about it. That was 30 minutes ago. <laughs> She's like, oh, yeah, see, I so that means she's just fuming <laughs> in her mind. She's like, the conversation was over 30 yeah. minutes ago, but I'm still fucking thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. That's my, that's my part. I told you, I don't let shit go. I hold grudges. Yeah. yeah it's a problem. Yeah. I yeah, mean, I, I think that like, I don't know, man. I think that heartbreak is taken in, in a lot of different ways and communication is one of those keys. But at the same time, it's like, that's the hard part about opening up and communicating is because of that fear of heartbreak. And it's like, do I want to bear myself and, and have that potential? And again, of course, we want to find that person, but it's also like, I mean, just I, I have a friend that won't date he because he's seen what his boys have gone through. He's like, I don't want to feel that. I know what you went through. I'm good. That was me. Yeah. Before I had my first girlfriend. Yeah. I mean, it makes I was on sense, my player though. shit. This girl came, swayed me, fell for her. <laughs> and everything I feared ended up happening. Yeah. And I mean, it really comes down to the whole abandonment shit. You know what I mean? Like some people have felt that abandonment within their parents or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes that's the first time somebody's feeling abandonment. And that shit is long lasting. Like any type of abandonment is going to affect you in one way or the other. Yeah. Whether you're going to be more clingy to the next person or whether you're going to be more res- like shut off you know what i mean that's where you get the attachment styles yeah. that's where it derives but it just doesn't derive from parenting like people think that because some people may have two parents that have been there been solid and their first love that they thought they were gonna be with forever decide to say nah you're not the one for me that i don't know what's worse honestly 
I don't know what's worse, a parent not being around because, or your first love just saying, I don't fuck with you no more. I had both of those, actually. <laughs> Which one's worse? Well, I don't know, because I don't know what it would have been like to have the parent around. You know, like, I don't know what I'm missing You're out You're not going to get, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like a parent, that, that's one time, right? You're going to have to go through dating over and over and over until you find a person. See, but I, I think that the I'm closer to you in the way that, like, I really wanted relationship. And so the risk was worthwhile for me because I wanted the relationship. Whereas, Don, you're kind of more content being single. So, like, you're not as inspired to take that risk because you're kind of chilling like yeah sure you could have a partner but you're also very content without a partner so that the risk is not as high for, or the risk is high but you're not as likely to take the risk because you're content versus and, us and, we're like we, and we by want the way <clears throat> wanting a relationship people there's nothing wrong with that yeah that's totally uh, there's a different my niggas can't give me the feel my girl can give me i'm sorry it ain't gonna we're ever be made a, for relationship yeah, it's never gonna happen you never like go you're wired god, for it god bless you yeah. So so I can I give you the feeling your girl can give you? No, I can I'm put just, you on a I'm high, just saying, bro. God bless you. We can go to everybody. we can go to Universal together and we have the same feel like Well no, but together. I mean you could have the same feel just going to a movie by yourself. That's one of your favorite things, no? By the way, yeah. why don't we go to Universal? I get sick. I'm being serious. I'll go walk around but like the That's Harry the Potter ride, I barfed. That's the best thing for for Universal is really to walk around. Yeah, no, I'm cool with that. I just got it, my Disneyland <laughs> pass back. I don't. I that Disneyland's too OD expensive, bro. Like I was looking at tickets, I was like, "How the fuck is it four hundred fifty dollars right now for two tickets?" Well, yeah, my pass was like four fifty, so it was worthwhile. It's Christmas time, bro. That's what I'm saying. But see, Universal doesn't make you pay extra for the for the Christmas joints. Oh, true. But the, the 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 dual parks that I did, yeah, it was like two hundred for one park for one day. In December, yeah. but then again, my pass was only four fifty, and yeah. I've been twice. Uh, no, I'm going twice this month, so it's like, all right, well, there's your money. I worth. should just get a pass. I yeah. literally waited up on. I was like, I'm like maybe in line at five p.m. Yeah. Got I might watch Beauty and the, the Beast tonight because next week her is doing the Beauty and the Beast special. Oh, that'll be fun. She she's she's gonna kill that. All that to say though, you're content like going to the movies, by like that's peaceful for you. Mm-hmm. For I, me, like I want. I go Someone eat by there. myself. I love to go eat by myself. I think I I used to really enjoy doing that, and now I'd rather go with Manny. I honest. mean, of course, it's it's always cooler to do shit with someone. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm still a man. Of course, I love having female energy around. But yeah, I mean, it's also yeah that that sitting that night that <laughs> meme expense. that meme got to send that you know there's certain shit you and your partner send to each other that you know it's funny. Oh, I'm gonna send this when you don't have it. It's like, a, like, <laughs> like it's oh. not even as funny. Yeah. That was actually one of the things I used to watch it. Um, I used to go to the movies by myself pretty often, and um, the one thing that was weird was like the funny movies. You're laughing and you want to like, ha ha ha, that's funny, but you're by yourself. <laughs> so I was like, all right, if I'm gonna see a movie by myself, it has nah, to be a I drama. Hate I don't look at me <laughs> ask me if something funny because I might not. <laughs> like I'm the worst person with that. So I'm like. I'm like <laughs> And then I'm, I'm not like, asking oh. you It's funny Like if everyone yeah, in the theater Is laughing, laughing Everyone's like oh, That's funny huh nah, yeah, But if you're by yourself You're just care. laughing by yourself That's weird yeah. Oh yeah Cry by yourself what kind of Sure movie but don't laugh I'm by yourself I'm in there Yeah 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 Facts no, I the Kids <laughs> movie and all that yeah. Yeah. I'm in there Spy yeah. kids Oh yeah I'll be I, I'm, a, I'm one of them ones That like you start talking In the movie I'll I'm not talking to you. I'm just saying, you know how like when you're when you're you're laughing at a movie, it's a moment that you're sharing with yeah. the people next to you. Yeah. Like, ha ha, this is funny. You're laughing all together. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the movie theater is a communal thing anyway. So, yeah. hey, I'm it's, not gonna lie though. Saying. When I saw Teledega Nights, though, me and my cousin saw it. We were high at the time. You saw that in theaters? I saw it, bro. Ten year old. <laughs> I promise you, that was literally the funniest movie I've ever seen. When I was, because I used to smoke. Oh, because you I were smoked, high as yeah, I used to smoke back then. <laughs> uh, we got up. We were in the aisle, bro, laughing. Luckily, it was at night, and there wasn't that many Dramatic. people. People were looking at, but you'd be like, "Oh, don't talk to me in the movie," but you're gonna be in the aisle laughing. <laughs> I wake up and I piss excellence, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all jacked up off Mountain Dew. <laughs> I, mean, I was crying. You know, but, you said mm. Talladega Nights, and I heard a Night's Tale. That's why wow. I called you old. <laughs> it was wow. like, damn. I love a nice show. I did too, but I was that's like, it was that That was my grandma's favorite movie. 
Dang, that's a good favorite I'm not movie. even 40 yet, bro. I got three <laughs> years to 40. My grandma told me the other day that oh, her and two. my grandpa's oh. first date was Cinderella in theaters. Damn, and that I was, was like, dang, you old. That was 56, right? <laughs> yeah. I was like, you saw that in the theater? And her parents went. Six. It's a different dating world now. Bro, oh, that's... Uh, uh, by the way, so... To, to round this up, we are going to have sometime soon. I'm, I started working back out with my trainer and his wife's a trainer. I'm going to have them on here talk about how they are. Just I look at them as a power couple. He's so humble. He's like, oh, I wouldn't consider this a power couple. I'm like, yo, you guys have built a business together. Mm-hmm. You guys own a home. You sent your kids to school. <laughs> like, yeah. you're, you're bl- you know, two black individuals look in their 50s looking like they're in their 30s and 40s. Like, just fitness at all level in sync. You know what I'm saying? Work as a partnership. I said, this young generation needs to hear about yeah. how you guys have done it because it's lost. You know what I mean? Like, a- again, it, we've talked about it before. You know, I think these days it's easier to numb heartbreak because all you got to do is get on the app and start swiping. You know what I mean? That shit was hard for me, though. I did that, and I was sad. I was like, ew, they, these options are shit. Oh, work? That made me feel worse. Shut up. <laughs> I'm talking about, like, 2017. <laughs> <laughs> <Where? laughs> <laughs> what time is it? So yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, if you, it, I, I just think that it needs to be more of a conversation, man. And I think that when it comes down to it, um, men need to talk more because, again, I know myself personally, being broken down to that level, it was scary because I did not know how to handle the emotions, and I, I, my brain went dark places, and I was, I'm sure yours did too, Don. It's, it's not. We don't have that community as women have. And, and again, I think people just need to be more mindful of, of breaking hearts and <laughs> being intentional when you're in a relationship. And if you're not ready for one, don't get in one. Like, just don't wait because you are hurting somebody and you do not know how that's going to impact you. And that's why sometimes when motherfuckers, you hear a story, uh, husband killed, whatever. This I'm like. I could see. Hey. Uh, <laughs> like, they had how many kids? A whole family. A, I mean, I wouldn't, but it's just like, yo, that there's that line is, it just takes somebody like, especially if they've never been through that type of pain. That type of pain is, um, it, it, it's like nothing. You said it's one of them things we don't talk about, man. But you know, side would be like, oh, that nigga was crazy, was he? Mm. Was I, was he? Men, or was he heartbroken? Men, men are not. <laughs> well, heartbroken men, will bring that idea. Men are not designed to deal with. Pain and heartbreak, bro. Like we just not, we're not. Women have a like I said, y'all are built different. different. Like I applaud y'all because the y'all tolerance. can get y'all can yeah. Like y'all have high tolerance for pain. One, two. Y'all can get in a new relationship and love like it's new. Yeah, like that so shit old, is the freshest thing ever. Like men, I I don't I don't think we possess that ability. Even even if we start over and I I think it 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 does something to it does something to us, man. Like So would I you really think would so. you say that if you love some so for men then when they love someone, they like love like you're probably gonna love her forever. It's an obsession. Probably. Damn. It's an obsession. Even if I'm just speaking for myself, like could I sit up here and say like I love my like it was never an instance that I didn't love him. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you this. Helen and Troy. Look what that man did for <laughs> bro. And like, love don't have a, a, a off switch. I would, yeah, I agree. When a man loves you, he will run through a brick fucking wall for you. Like, yeah. Is, yeah. Hmm. Like, we, we will base our life. Here's the thing is like, when a man really loves you, he can love himself and we still do shit off ourselves, but we always take you into consideration with everything we do. Like, yo, I'm building... Not just for me, but for her, too. That's a big one. I will say, <sighs> like, a man being considerate of you is key. I think oh. that that shows. That's, like, oh, yeah. proof. Yeah. We love we love different. It's yeah. just, like, the family dynamic. Like, a man will love his wife. The wife will love her kids more than the husband. Facts. We, oh, I was just talking. That's crazy to think about. Like, if my kids try to get loud with my wife, or any, bro, we fighting. Like, you're not going to disrespect my wife. Mm. But with the woman... They always gonna take the kids. She 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 gonna she gonna love her kids more than she love you. Mm-hmm. The man always, always gonna, gonna pick love his the wife. man always, always gonna pick his wife, even though he love his kids, but he yeah, always, always. Gonna, he always gonna pick his wife. Like I we mean, love different. 
Yeah, I could see that. But I mean, there's also like a different bond between the mom. She like birthed the kid. You yeah, know? of course. But at the same time, it's the man. And it's like the my theory is like this. This is my wife. This is my wife. I mean, I, I get that, but is, let's just it's the same thing from your mom. A morbid thought, like say y'all together, like it's. If something happened to your kids, you can create more kids. You can't create another husband. Like, like that's, I mean, I look at the whole Will or Smith, another the whole Will Smith situation. People want to talk like that man loves Jada. Like that is his everything. You can yeah. tell by the way he feels the pain with certain things. Mm-hmm. So for him, when he reacted like that, bro, I, I wouldn't react in that moment. But bro, I'm, I'm gonna see you afterwards. Like, bro, I'm, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put pause on because you're not finna, you're not about to disrespect my wife sitting next to me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because as a man, for, as a man, a woman, if I let somebody, dis, if man let somebody disrespect you and didn't say shit, how would you feel? Would you feel I like mean, that's to, a, Yeah, if they truly were disrespecting me, then yeah, that would, I would, that would be fucked up. You'd be like, my, my bro, you. And I, I agree. I see what you're saying. Like, you know, my man's going to say something about me and I'm going to say something about my kid. If you disrespect my kid, I'm going to say, it's the same thing. I get that. <clears throat> yeah, man, well, then again, though, if somebody's saying, is, if there's a bitch disrespecting me, I'm going to say something too. I'm like, wait. Man, what? listen, play, it, the ground is riddled with a lot of men <laughs> that that try to protect women or that <laughs> over a woman. You Facts. know what I mean? Like a lot of hood, a lot, a lot, a lot of a lot of street violence, a lot of it. <laughs> because of a woman, bro. Man. We're ter- you gotta remember we're territorial too. Just like think about lions. Yeah, go to like think, the think about lions how they are. <laughs> bro, I will walk around and it's it's I. Yeah. <laughs> When we love you, like I said, what what future say? <laughs> what you mind, y'all? Once I hear I add you to my collect, we're very selfish individuals. If we've loved you at some point, it, it's 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 hard, man. And again, it's like to keep doing it over and over and over. That's very hard for a man. Where women, you guys are resilient in that fashion. Where men, it's like it tears us and it tears parts away from us to where we start to numb ourselves, and then it just eventually it's, there's no capability of love within us. That's just I, that's I know we, yeah. That's why men like we're never the same after the first heartbreak. No, that's why we love different. Yeah, yep. that's why we be doing dumb shit. Yep. And we perpetuate this whole cycle. It's like a revolving door. We literally man protect. loves woman. Yeah. Shit don't pan out, or she do some some foul we're, shit. We're always preparing for the worst too, because of the heartbreak. We will always think that. Oh, like in the future, mm-hmm. like whatever future, yeah. Because like I said, like Don, like you said, for for them, they'll go into it and love like it's fresh, new. Us, we'll love be like, yeah, but mm, I've seen this story before. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a, I'm a move and, and say, yeah, I'm going to shake this way, do this. But I've seen it, and I got my eyes wide the fuck open, right? Where you guys love, like, naturally. And like, yo, I hear you, but I'm choosing to love you and give you my love right now. And I'm not going to worry about, you know, what, what the past is. I feel like is. that's a good mix, though. Cause then it's like the woman that's gonna show up and like be nurturing and love you anyways, create that space that you would yeah. need to over time. It's hard though. Like I said, I'm love again. We are in two rare situations. True. I I was ready to give up. I'm 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 lucky. Literally as, the episode right yeah, before you met I'm, her. I'm lucky as hell because we like my, trash. because I, I still feel that like and, and and she stopped me from. I've tried to run multiple times. I've told Don Don like, bro, what are you doing? Like, I've tried to to sabotage this, and this woman's like, nah, bro, you're, we're locked in. And that's different for me because I'm used to, okay, bet, cool. Make it easy on both ends. I can get back to my, you know, being for these streets and mm-hmm. making these memes and, you know, feeling some type of way, you know what I'm saying? But now it's like, nah, I'm, I'm locked in, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, at the end of the day, we do handle it different. And I think it's something that needs to be talked about more. And that's why I wanted to talk about it tonight because if you're listening, you have a man and you're with somebody, be mindful of that. Be mindful of somebody who you're dating. Understand that. If we're locked in with you as a man, that hurt is different. So be mindful how you move. And if you want, if you feel like we can change in some way, sit down and be like, "Hey, bro, you're gonna lose." No, like I'm gonna tell you, as as a man, <clears throat> and I think most men will agree with me. If you're a woman and your man loves you, and you feel like something is not working in a relationship, but you would hope for it to work, don't wait months. Sit down with that man and say, "Hey, this isn't gonna work if this doesn't change. You're going to lose me." Watch your man shape up. Because if he loves you, if he loves you, now nah, if he loves you and he's in love with you, he will change. It's, it's facts. We're not, I, I don't think we're, we're uh, I don't know. Like you, th- you think you'd say solid, bro? 
Well, it depends on what they're uh, asking you to change. Yeah, don't look. Like I don't want you to go see movies. If this is like, if this was like, like a couple no. relationships ago, I, I would agree with you. Now I'm just like, but that's because of the damage I'd, that's hey. been done. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I love me. I, I gotta. Yeah. It's it's weird, man. When I when I think about the love, like in my capacity to love, it's like I feel like I could do it, but I feel like I got that reserve. Like I'm gonna love me more. Like, but it's like, but I'm saying as far as like, if you're in love with somebody, she's like, hey. I need a little bit more attention from you. Like, I feel, I don't feel the same. You're like, oh, well, shit, maybe I'm, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to want to provide that. You're not going to want your lady. I mean, now I guess. I've, I've, I've been <coughs> in instances <coughs> recent or lately that I've dealt with that. And I'm like, uh, yeah. I, I think I'm tapped I'm out. Not, yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. You know, I will say I, I've heard when I was dating, you know, I would say up front like if i needed something like usually it was a lack of communication or if you're coming over to my house and you said it's seven and now it's nine and you're not here like hey i would appreciate you letting me know that you're two hours late yeah but that's shit, shit, <clears throat> shit you break up over though no i agree but then me communicating like hey i would prefer to you to communicate that this argument like oh you're trying to change me i'm like i'm not trying to change your favorite color dude i'm just telling you you need to communicate I think that, that that's a big difference. Like the, the change that you're saying you would make for your lady is, hey, I feel like I words of affirmation. If you wanted to like compliment me a little bit more often, that'd be great. That's different than, hey, you're not allowed to go to the movies anymore because you have to spend all your time with me. That's something you're not going to change. I think that they like to clarify, <laughs> again, like a man being considerate of you is proof that he cares about you that 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 meaning being considerate of you not like asking a man to like shave your head i don't like your style wear this instead i don't like your car drive this instead oh your favorite color is green i don't like that color your favorite color is now blue like don't change somebody that way let them have an identity but it's like if if they can work on something like to be a better man then yeah well on that note because the next thing we're going to talk about sometime soon is how People get in relationships and all of a sudden want to change the person that they got with. So we definitely. I mean, if I'm going to make you better, though. I'm kidding. I'm being dramatic. Yep. <laughs> so thank you guys once again <laughs> for tuning in with us. Um, thank you, Making It Media, for allowing us the space. Um, Jenna, where can the people find you? Um, My name is Jenna Norman. <laughs> 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 that's my name <clears throat> where can they find you on the socials jenna like k norman k norman the photography one oh sorry jenna norman photography she does amazing work people go check it out she actually did uh a set a uh, photo shoot with nicole who we've had on the show she did the the boudoir yep which Those i still haven't so got good. mine done um and then she did a family photo set with alicia yeah who we nice. just had on so Definitely go check her out, Don. I probably have it somewhere up here, like pimp, pimp, or there. Don, where can the people find you? Man, you know, in your local neighborhood, being a sex symbol. <laughs> 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 uh, it's the, the confidence. Hey, 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 ladies, you heard it there. Hey, you know what I'm saying? He's Talking in your local hood at the bodega. The corner of. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, yeah, man, you know me just working. So the, at Don City, yep. On most on most things, and then uh, sliding my DMs. Oh yeah, and then uh, at uh, what? Oh, the real T, the yeah. real T Co. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the V Eight Network, V Eight Network. Go ahead and check that Sir, out. Sir, we got some new shows coming. We cooking. Yeah, me. You can find me at Kale Ramsey Ackerson on the Gram or on Twitter, which I just be. Talking Rockets Talk at K Ramsey Ackerson. But Twitter is hilarious in its life. But yeah, thank you guys once again for being here with us tonight. Um, we hope that you enjoy our episodes. Pretty soon I think we're going to do a Q&A so we could talk about some of the topics you guys want to talk about uh, when we don't have a guest. Um, I think we will do that soon. And yeah, I guess we will see you guys next week as we out. It's late. and We out. We tired. Peace, peace. Bye. Bye.